so you take away like that, that, that sort of the current situation we have where there is the, the guy in the middle. So a lot of money is instantly freed up and it'll probably take much less to actually run sort of core services which can better the network. It's I, a lovely thing. I think these types of systems are the future, of course, and um, I would imagine we will see more of them. And this is why we're discussing. I guess it's fun to talk about more than anything yeah. else. And I must state again that this is very close. This is very close. It will take a few years of work. I mean, I'd say three or four years we could have it, depending on the, the push from society, depending on how much society people do understand. And again, it doesn't need everyone to understand it. Once a few people come to terms with it and want to build it, then once it's built, it's everywhere. So, you know, and uh, there isn't much anyone can do to compete against something like this. It would pretty much overwhelm. It would disrupt the disruptors almost immediately because you can't compete with something that doesn't even take profit. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, just uh, efficient, evolving, works as this layer, which, which is serving the services that everyone actually wants, you know, as efficiently as possible. Perhaps we'll see one of these services like Alpha City or whatever develop into this. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. At least I would say this to anyone developing um, these kind of ideas. Make sure that if you're developing, you're developing in concert with everyone else so that one day maybe your projects merge or your different versions of the same thing and think more about protocol rather than trying to lock everyone into one thing, of course. 